great meal. <laughs> Let's eat it. <laughs> the shark gang was just about to eat the yellow fish. But then they saw a bigger fish swimming overhead. Hey, look, look. That fish is bigger. Let's eat that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, the dangerous gang realized too late that the big fish they wanted to eat was actually a toy fish on the end of a fisherman's hook. Oh, oh, oh my tooth. My tooth hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, my nose. Oh, my nose hurts a lot. While they were busy with the toy fish, the yellow fish escaped and was saved from being eaten by them. Uh, because of you, we've lost our lunch. The beautiful sea wasn't just a bunch of sharks. It was vast and full of colorful, cute, and happy fish families. Come on, time to go inside. But mommy... Guys, I have to go get something to eat. And you should stay inside the house while I'm gone. Mom, Mom let's, let's go, go with, with you, you please, please, please. No, dear. That would be too dangerous. It's full of sharks out there. Come on, all of you come inside. And definitely don't talk to strangers. Three red fish entered their house, which was a sunken ship. The shark gang that saw them wanted to catch the mother fish right there. Oh, super delicious mother fish. And this time, it's not a toy. The big shark suddenly stopped his friends, who wanted to attack. Uh, stop. Rather than just eating one fish, why don't we eat all three fish hidden inside that sunken ship, huh? Oh. <laughs> You're, You're so, so clever, clever boss. boss. Let's eat all three. Not so fast. We will not attack these fish right away. Because while they're trying to get into their tiny house with these huge bodies, they can easily escape. We have to make a plan. What kind of plan, boss? You go wait in a quiet place. Leave the plan to me. So the shark wandered among the red corals to disguise himself. He painted himself red, just like he was a member of the red fish family. Then he found an orange pattern moss to hide his dangerous fin. He threw the moss on his back and covered his pointed fin. Finally, the shark brought the red fish's favorite moss cookies. <laughs> no fish can resist these cookies. <laughs> the shark swam towards the house of the red fish and knocked on the door with his nose. Who is it? I'm a nose and red fish selling moss cookies. Wouldn't you like to have some? <laughs> Moss cookies! The red fish were young and very excited about cookies, so they wanted to go right out and get some. Stop, brothers! Our mother told us not to talk to strangers. One of the red fish brothers looked out through the tiny hole in the door. But she is not a stranger, because she's a red fish, just like us. So the fish siblings went out. Let me take you home. There are even more cookies at my home. The red fish followed the shark, while the shark was slyly contemplating how to eat them. A fishing rod fell on top of him, scraping the moss that was hiding his fin. At that moment, the red fish realized that he was a shark. He, he is, is a, a shark! shark. Run. Run! One of them hid behind the rocks, the other along the corals, and the other hid under the stone. 
But the shark found each of them and caught all three. <laughs> we will have a nice feast with my friends. Only one of them managed to escape from the shark and swim quickly towards her house. Just then, the mother redfish was very scared when she could not see her babies inside the house. No! No! Where are you, my babies? The mother fish was about to go away to look for her children, but then she saw her babies swimming hastily towards her. Mommy, the shark kidnapped my brothers. I know where they are. We can save them. The mother fish wisely decided to seek help from the giant whale Willie.